In this video, we shall explore how to use the free TINA TI simulator to investigate single frequency AC currents. We will begin by selecting a ground, two resistors, and a capacitor from the basic toolbar. Remember, if you hover the mouse over a component button for a moment, a tooltip will pop up to remind you of its name. The second resistor and capacitor need to be rotated 90 degrees. Select the components with the mouse and use the Control R command. We'll position the components in a series loop. You might also wish to rotate some of the labels for easier viewing. Now, we'll alter the default component values by double-clicking on each item. Resistor 1 is set to 820 ohms. Resistor 2 is set to 360 ohms. And the capacitor is set to 50 nanofarads. Finally, we need an AC signal source. Select the Sources Toolbar tab and click on the fourth item, Voltage Generator. Drop this onto the schematic and double-click to set its values. By default, this says Unit Step. Clicking on this will reveal the ellipsis button. Click on it for an extended settings. From the top row, select the sine wave, third from left, and set its frequency to 1 kHz. The amplitude can be left at 1 volt. Now we wire the components together. We'll also add three voltage measurement nodes, A, B, and C. This is the first item on the meter's toolbar. Time for measurements. Head over to the Analysis menu and select AC Analysis, Calculate Nodal Voltages. In a moment, a small window pops up. This is very similar to the one we used for DC analysis. Note that the peak voltage and phase angle for each of the three defined nodes are displayed on the schematic. If you click on one of these nodes, the window will display the peak and RMS voltages at the node, its phase angle, and the DC voltage, if any. If you click on a component, such as resistor 2, the voltage and current will be displayed along with the phase angle. Also, the reference direction of the current will be drawn next to the component. Cool! Cancel the window and let's continue. You might be wondering if there is an AC version of the DC table of values function. No surprise here, there is. To see how it works, from the Analysis menu select AC Analysis, Table of AC Results. Once again, a window pops up. This time, the voltage and current for each component are displayed along with the associated phase angles. If you click on a node or on a component, the corresponding values will be highlighted in the window. Finally, what if we would like a differential voltage, such as the voltage for node A to node C? We can use the same technique we used for DC analysis namely inserting a voltmeter. From the meter's toolbar, select a voltmeter, the second item. Wire this from node A to node C. Now select AC Analysis Calculate Nodal Voltages. The magnitude and angle appear next to the meter. The window shows the complex voltage in rectangular form too.
This will also work with the table of AC values. Thanks for watching.